That's right. They were yanked from the streets of Europe and Asia and brought here to the federal courthouse in lower Manhattan to face justice American style. Accused narco terrorists who were plotting to sell heroin on the streets of American cities, according to prosecutors. And now they will face trial. Suspected money men for Hezbollah and the Taliban busted in a global narco terror takedown. Federal prosecutors in New York City announcing the results of a globe hopping undercover sting operation. Four men now accused of plotting to sell heroin on the streets of the United States to buy weapons for the Taliban, allied with Al Qaeda, and Hezbollah, designated a foreign terrorist organization by the U.S. State Department. Today, uh, we unseal two indictments that provide fresh evidence of what many of us have been seeing for some time, the growing nexus between drug trafficking and terrorism. Two defendants were arrested in Romania, identified as Setin Aksu and Siavos Henare. No photos of the men were immediately available. Two other defendants were detained in the Maldives, Bechar Webby and Gul Alizai. They've been flown to New York for trial. Today's indictments relate to two different and dangerous narcotics networks. But their aspirations did not end with the sale of heroin. Both allegedly were also prepared to traffic in terror, not just drugs. Prosecutors say the weapons deal involved 48 Stinger surface-to-air missiles, 5,000 AK-47 rifles, 1,000 M4 rifles, and 1,000 Glock handguns. Tonight, one defendant's attorney told me his client, who is now accused of being a Hezbollah henchman, is from Lebanon, is now in custody in New York, and today entered a not guilty plea. Because at the end of the day, we're all fighting for one reason, to keep the poison out of the hands of the children. Prosecutors say if the accused narco-terror conspirators are convicted, they could face life in prison. And the next court date in this case is coming up on Friday. Reporting live tonight from Lower Manhattan, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News. Right now, let's go to Arthur Sheehan. He's in Green.